Hey guys, it's Angie Keck with Angelina Keck Properties. It's May 15th, and if you haven't filed your property taxes yet, you should totally do so, and I'm gonna show you how to do it online right now and for free. Okay, bear with me, because I've never done this before. Okay guys, here we are. This is the Harris County property, um, Harris County Appraisal District website, and um, we're on the home page. So what I want you guys to do is click over here where it says online services, and you are going to do I file protest, okay? Now over here, you're going to pick HCAD electronic filing system, and you're gonna want your um, letter that you received that has your iFile number on it. If you've never signed up before, you're gonna to have to sign up, make an account, password, and all that kind of good stuff. So go ahead and click on that, okay? And then sign in. Um, like I said, if you don't have a username or you need a password, oh, it just got dark, it's kind of weird. Anyway, um, go ahead and, and sign up um, and then sign in, okay? Okay, we're back on. All right, so we are looking at one of my properties, and um, you can actually add multiple properties if you want, right there. Um, so e-filing, we're gonna do the i-file protest, but what we're going to do first is um, look at our appraisal notice, okay? And so they think the property is 402. Okay, great, good to know. We're gonna go back, and I don't know why that light keeps going off, that's really, yeah. So then we're gonna go back to where we were, okay. Great, right here. And we are going to, go in here, now. Make sure all this information is correct. Phone number, yes, okay. So listen, do you wish to participate in the iSettle? Click yes or no. Let's learn more about iSettle. Okay, so basically it's a new approach to handling your disputes. Um, you can protest online and you get immediate confirmation of your protest. I think it's great you don't have to go in and meet with anybody. So I, I'm going to say, yes, I do, okay? And we are pleased to announce that you are able to submit evidence electronically for appraiser review through iSettle. Once you protest and opt into iSettle, you will have five days to submit evidence through your owner's website. That is really important, y'all, okay? So yes, you do want to participate. Okay, opinion of property market value. Okay, that's what I'm gonna put, okay. Now, they're gonna ask me some questions. What is the reason for your protest? Well, obviously, my value is over market value. Property should not be taxed, and this is if it's um, agricultural and they have it in under commercial or something like that, so don't do that. Um, failure to send notice, maybe, other, possibly, exemption denied, modified, or canceled. Um, ag use, space, special valuation, owner's name is incorrect, you can change that here. Owner's mailing address is incorrect. You can also change that here. Um, and then you can put that information. Property should not be taxed in this appraisal district. Maybe it's in Fort Bend. Value is unequal to compared with other properties. That is probably a really good one to pick. And then recent purchase of property. This is if you just purchased the property. Oh, hi, my battery's running low. And um, you, you know, you're gonna show them your um, closing statement. So then you can put that, you can, you can click on that and then you can um, tell them if it was um, a foreclosure, you can tell them how much you purchased it for. You probably only wanna tell them how much you purchased it for if that number is less than what they're saying your house is worth, just FYI. Property description is incorrect. Um, land, improvements, or renovations or remodeling done in the previous calendar year, if you're trying to protest your taxes, you may not want to click this one. Just depends. Um, dwellings or buildings demolished. House needs foundation repair. That's a really good one. 
Um, but be careful because it really does need to have foundation repair. You need to have a bid from 2018 and it's going to go down on your permanent record. So if you're trying to sell the house later on, it's going to probably show up. Um, there's damage visible from the exterior, wind, flooding. Be careful with that flooding one, okay? Make sure if, you, if your house got water or flooded that you really do pick that because that's going to help you out. Um, and it is what it is. Fire, smoke, mold, termites, total living area, square footage, different year built. I see that a lot. Bathroom uh, count. I see a lot of houses that don't have a half bath, and for 40 years they've been paying for a half bath. So make sure you put that down there. Um, fireplace. Okay, do you want a copy of the ARB's hearing procedures? No, because I can get them electronically. So. Um, and then give facts that may help resolve your case. And then um, you can put your information there and you authorize this person. So, so the representative information you're only going to put if you have like a family member or somebody else that's going to go in front of the hearing for you, okay? So put their information there. And then submit my protest. And you, continue, you press continue. And then you're done. Okay, guys? So it was that easy. Now, we're going to go back to this other page real quick. Maybe not. Just kidding. Right there. Okay. So we're going to go back to where we were. Yes. Okay. So we just did this, the I file. Okay. Now, once we do that, we can actually upload files, okay? And files that you want to upload are going to be bids of work that need to be done, um, an appraisal, a closing statement, pictures of things that need to be fixed or taken care of, um, anything that you're going to use to kind of uh, make them understand why your house needs to be valued lower. So you can upload all of that stuff right there, okay? Um, make sure that you've enrolled in the e-delivery of documents. That's really important. So you get an email because sometimes the mail gets lost. Um, you can add and remove property accounts. See how I had two different accounts here. That's how you do that. Um, and then scheduled appointments. If you do end up going in front of the ABR, this is where you can schedule your appointments, reschedule them, or it'll tell you when your appointments are scheduled. And that's really important for you to know. Document deadlines, dates. Um, here's your documents, okay? View appraised notice. We just looked at that. View HCAD hearing evidence notice, okay? Um, what's going to be really interesting for you to look is once you do actually file this I file protest, maybe like a day or two later, you'll be able to, this will be clickable, this line right here, the view HCAD hearing evidence. And I would open that up and look at it because that's going to be all the comparables that they're using on your house. So that is like bold right there for you. Um, here, the view completed I file protest, you can do that. View scheduling notice, view ABR determination after you've gone in front of the board, um, and view the I settle um, confirmation. Now, listen, if you don't want to go in front of the ABR, you're going to get um, an email from HCAD a couple of days after you file your I, I protest and your I file. And it's going to say, hey, you said that this is the number that you think it's on, and we think it's here. Do you accept? And you either accept or you deny. If you accept it, then you're done. If you deny what they're giving you, what their settlement offer is, then you do move forward to the next um, step, which is to go in front of the ABR. So anyway, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. It is the deadline tonight for most people. If you don't have your um, letter that you got or your online, if you don't have anything, you can go to the but um, they may not be giving those out. So anyway, if you like this video, please, please, please like it and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Bye.